that most of the evil in the world comes from Islam. Currently, absolute. 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 Video, man. We at the Israelite School Universal Practical Knowledge on 35, 32 North Keystone Avenue. Man, we just had a terrorist attack at the damn school. Man, a, a Palestinian an Arab woman came and admitted that she seen all the bloodshed on TV, seen the babies dying on TV, and she had to do something about it. So she decided to attack and, and, and crash her car into the Israelite School UPK building. Let's back up. I can back up. Back up all the way. Come on. Back up. So we're going to make sure to give it some space while he's moving that moving that damn car around. Um, we see a multiple, uh, you know, possible enemies flying by. See, this is all that's going on in the world, man. The scripture says stability and knowledge should be the... Uh, knowledge will be the stability of thy times. Wisdom will be the stability of thy times. There will be wars and rumors of wars, but be ye not troubled. We're not troubled about none of this stuff because this is going to increase. Terrorist attacks are going to increase across the whole earth. These type of things are going to increase across the whole, the whole earth about uh, attacks because the oppressor is oppressing the whole earth. And World War Three is coming because blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah, there you have it. There you have it. So, um, <coughs> <coughs> so I pass it around to the video on it. it. Just come from camp, so I know stumble up on this. So, <coughs> hey. Most of the evil in the world comes from Islam. Currently, absolute, absolute, absolute. Most of the evil comes from Esau Edom. Ishmael and Esau Edom are just fighting amongst one another, which can lead to the Third World's War. You know, Hamas, Russia, Ukraine, etc. All these heathen nations fighting against one another. So we need not to be. We need not to get ourselves. In that melee, <clears throat> that's right. We need to stand by watch the log work. It's terrible, what to, it's terrible what happened to these brothers here, but you know, you put yourself in, in, in your harness nest, you know. Israelite School Universal Practical Knowledge on 35, 32 North Keystone Avenue. Man, we just had a terrorist attack at the damn school. Man, a, a Palestinian an Arab woman came and admitted that she seen all the bloodshed on TV, seen the babies dying on TV, and she had to do something about it. So she decided to attack and, and, and crash her car into the Israelite School UPK building. Let's back up, I can back up, back up all the way. Come on, back up. So we're going to make sure to give it some space while he's moving that moving that damn car around. Um, we see a multiple, uh, you know, <clears throat> possible enemies flying by. See, this is all that's going on in the world, man. The scripture says stability and knowledge should be the uh, knowledge will be the stability of thy times. Wisdom will be the stability of our times. There will be wars and rumors of wars, but be ye not troubled. We're not troubled about none of this stuff, because this is going to increase. Terrorist attacks are going to increase across the whole earth. These type of things are going to increase across the whole, the whole earth about uh, attacks, because the oppressor is oppressing the whole earth. And World War Three is coming, because blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans... All right, just hold a minute. Um, just hold a minute. Really, let's see that. Really, they see that. Uh, where is it, my brother? Did they have a. Go tell the Jewish man, he's bombing you, he's bombing you, but 
your mind because you're racist. You're racist. And then these protesters came over there, or they said it where the protesters were. But they needed to say, um, the law is really being done, you know, the law is really being done, the persecution will uh, come to the forefront. It must happen. These people ain't gonna be hearing the word. They 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 they're too full of emotions right now. You know what I mean? They're too hyped on emotions right now, so they make it really hear this word. Israeli government holding a private convention here in the United States. <laughs> Judith Varnai Shore. She was one of the main people saying that the biggest problem that they had was young black people in the United States. The major problem of Israel is with the young generation of the black community. Black community. Biggest problem wasn't Hamas or Hezbollah or the Palestinian Authority or Syria or even Iran. She said that Israel's biggest problem was young black people in the United States. And that's because of that ancient hatred in Genesis 25. You see? You saw it in the book Israel's history in one another, the streets killing one another, killing themselves, we raise the most dysfunctional families in any community, but we the biggest problem in Israel. Now, is that ancient hatred? You see, they see uh, the prophets on the highways and hedges. You see, they see them, and that's why she can make a statement like that, because they're really scared, because the prophecies are happening. Thieves are evil. You're an evil bunch of people. What's the proof? You mad with us over Palestine? Are black people dropping bombs on Palestine? Why don't you take your energy to the damn white man who is not even the real Jew? But you're scared of him. You look at black people and you think we're simple. You think you can push us over. A day is coming. A day is coming. When you gonna be ruled by a black man, right. and if you don't want to bow your head, you're gonna lose it. The moon, he named my fear, the pain. People more bruised, come through like a pain. Rebel off the leash like a dog out the cage. Call me Johnny Blaze, I'm from West Bay. Watch a step get stretched like a lemon, so my brother bring that blade back with. That's my enemy, little nigga. This that cold head talk, niggas. 